So, Justin, what you saw there at the motherboard was what? Uh, so, usually, um, all these red lights should be on. If you ever open it up, and for some reason, this light right here just keeps flickering on and off. This is flickering on and off. Correct. Or if inside that, that uh, the capacity plate in there, if it's ever flicking on and off, usually it's a telltale sign. There's a short or something. There's a short someplace. Okay. Yeah, what was that? The just clicking noise there? Uh, that was the other level. I'm back up to the floor level. Okay. Right up to two. You want me to get in there? Yeah, you're out of Okay. And this little pin here, I'll look, okay. Were you adjusting that little ball thing? Yeah, so it'll catch a little bit better. So you, it came out more? Mm-hmm. Okay. Make it more relaxing, hold that door tight. Should be good. Okay. Yeah. So will you just push that in and turn it? Correct. It's functioning. Now, do, do we know what the short was caused by? Uh, I still gotta find it. I just unhooked okay. that second floor log. It's something with this lock up here. Something happened in. The lock that's attached to the cab, or uh, is it attached? The one that's attached to the door. Yeah. Attached to the door. This one right here. Because it, let's show they replaced this one. Oh, they did? did? Okay. Just some background. I believe it was Luke. There are four wires that operate it. Correct. Two are the power and an extra fire log, and then two are the contacts that read the door. Okay. For Will Tech? Uh, I've been started here in 2005. Wow. Um, I left the economy when the economy kind of yeah. died. I left and went to work somewhere else for a little while. Um, I stood in elevators, worked in the Things are booming now here in the Atlanta oh, area. Yeah. Yeah, the train we want to see in John Whalen and Patrick Moore, they keep us slammed. So it was one of the naked wires making contact with the metal or something? They had it pinched down a little too tight on the wire, so they didn't okay. actually strip it, but that wire is so good it gets pinched. Quick and easy. Oh, yeah. Is that aluminum? It is. No pinch there, it goes right through.
Let me ask this. When this tongue slides it, should it push that up? Yeah, because at one time this would hit there and it, jam- it did not push up. You had to hitch the call button and it would lift up, but it would not do it up on its own. Because the way it designed it, looked like this kind of a ski slope would push it up, drive that up. Yeah, see, that's missing too. The ball and the spring. It's totally, no, no, it hadn't been there. Okay. That's that's. As a matter of fact, could you fix that too? I don't have that on me. Oh, you don't. I will look it downstairs, but that's actually on the other side. I'll see if it might have fallen down in our pit. No, no, it's it's been gone for a while. Has it? Yes, I mean it's like over a week. What happens? There's a spring in there. Yeah. And the spring came out, and the ball came out, and it. Ball the spring. Ball catch. Yeah. Ball catch. Okay. Yeah, let's go for a ride. Calls. Uh, there's always a fear of being trapped in an elevator. Right. Right. I don't know if you know this or not, but in New York City, people have died mm-hmm. being trapped in elevators. We actually had. Uh, there was a couple, a couple years back, that died down in Savannah before they had the, the foam wall. They had to have a foam in the elevator. Uh-huh. They didn't have one. And they were trapped. I remember and her husband we got trapped in there and passed away. Yeah. The, the, the mailman found him. Yeah. The was unlocked. Okay. Right I mean, we'll always have our cell phones on us, and plus right. we know how to... To lift, I call it the pin, right. the horizontal pin to lift it up. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of ways to get over. Not even, most of the time, if you get stuck in the elevator, it's going to be on the floor. Yeah. Usually, there's not really a whole lot that can happen in between that's going to make it shut down. So, the problem is those four wires in the, uh, I call it the Lock box. Mm-hmm. That was the problem, not Yeah, here. they were just pinched and it was just letting the voltage travel through. Okay, it was shorting it was out. Short out but there's nothing here that shorted out. No, yeah, no, I just unhook it. I, I figured I'll unplug that because that's all the locks for every floor. Mm-hmm. So if I unhook it, it turns on, then I'll just start unwiring them one at a time until I figure out what floor the shorts in. Okay. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm talking. Go ahead. Close all this up in sure. real quick. Uh, educate us. You have any issues? Um, yeah. It's usually a door or a gate. One of those two were okay. left open. So try to get in the habit every time when you get out, close that gate back. Right. Close the door. Okay. Um, all these lights right here. So if you see right next to the light, there's labels all the way down. Uh-huh. So they all have a meaning. Um, so if you do have an issue, the easiest way to do it is check your door, check your gate, come down here and do a reset. So to reset, just press and hold. When it quits beeping, let go. It turns it Let off. me ask the other uh, warranty guy mm-hmm. named Pat McNulty said to unplug this. You can do that as well. It, it works the same. To really doing the power it does? It, yeah. To, to reset the computer RAM and everything. Normally in a computer you disconnect. But you said you yeah. can. You can power it off there. And power off it and then on. Yeah, no, I don't have to look at it because this is hot. So even when you unplug it, those right. problems, there's voltage running right through there. So if you touch those problems, it might shock you. That's why I just show people to do it this way. Okay. Um, 
same thing, press and hold, then I'll turn it back on. If that doesn't get it going, um, I'll give you my number. Okay, cool. Uh, you can give me a call. Like Just, I said, it's all these lights here. They all have yeah. a meaning. Uh, so that door open, GC turned off. Okay. So GC is your door lock, so along with HDC and HDL. If you're missing these two, GC and these two, it's usually your gate or the emergency stock. Okay. If you're just missing GC, then it's a lock. Well, what I'll do is if I, I took a look at this, and, and if this is blinking, that's mm -hmm. call you. Correct. Yeah, that, that shouldn't blink anymore. That was since they pinched it. If, mm -hmm. if there's no short now, there's usually not going to okay. be one. The only thing I really need to do is just to reset the button. Correct. Set or else. Mm -hmm. But you suggest reset button. Right. Yep. Yeah. That is also, so that's the battery backup as well. So if yeah. you're ever in the elevator going between floors and it were to lose power, that will lower you down and let you yeah. out of the closest floor. Okay. Um, you can still use it to go down. So if you're on the top floor and it doesn't lose its power, it'll still take you oh, down. Oh, it's held down, but it just won't Correct. take you up. You just can't go up. Okay. So it'll go down without power. Correct. Great. Um, Let me ask you, now, this, is this a dipstick for a hydraulic fluid? It is, yeah, cool. but they're not really accurate, so we use it as a dust cover. We just plug <laughs> that hole in them mainly, because these tanks are the same oh. size for okay. all of our elevators. What, what's it in here? It's uh, hydraulic, so this is actually yeah, the reservoir. That's what I was about to go to Oh, next. yeah, so that's the actual fluid. So, yeah, when it's coming down, all the oil runs back into here, and then it pumps oh, out of okay. here. Um, so that is oil right there that is actually, correct. Oh, wow, we can see it there. Mm -hmm. Now, does that ever get dirty and need to be it changed? It does not, no. It never gets hot enough to burn. Um, it shouldn't get dirty. That's why we plug it to keep dust mm -hmm. and things out. Now, how far high does it go up then? Um, it'll never get above those holes. So usually we fill them to about right here. So oh, okay. even if we let all the oil in, all the oil will never come back out because that hydraulic piston takes a lot in there. So you get about 10 gallons, it'll stay in there. Okay. So, but this is, was... A, but it's not a it, it is a dipstick, stick, yeah, but it's not, like I said, you it's just, not accurate. It's, you it's, it's, it's there's a that. wide span, yeah. But there's no You'll know if it ever gets too low, if you get up to the upper floors, uh -huh. um, when you start to get closer to the top, you'll hear it start making a noise. So you'll hear like a little growl. Yeah, that's what I was, what symptoms will we see if that oil level is too low? That, that the main sign will be um, if you do ever get a leak, which is the only way any oil will ever yeah. get out of here. You will actually hear this tank kick on and re-level about every hour. So you'll hear a lot. Even if you're not using it, you'll hear the motor kick in for a second. Where's the motor that uh, actually comes in? It's actually in here. So where is it? Where? Is it? Uh, it's submerged underneath there. So I can see these. It's down underneath all that. That's cool. So the motor is actually in the oil now? It is correct. Okay, the motor's not above it. Yeah, it'll it. stay submerged. If you yeah. ever see it where you can see the motor and pump, then that's, you definitely have a leak. That's bad. Yes. Um, also in here, so for some reason, that battery backup were to fail. Right. And somebody were to get stuck in between floors in the elevator. This right here is a manual lowering. So if you just turn that counterclockwise, Right now it's on, so it's going to re-level back up. But that'll manually bleed the oil off and so let the elevator come down. Okay. So when the elevator's tilting it to down, most of the oil's in here? Correct. So yeah, it's on one now, so that's about as high as it'll ever be. But it's on the fourth floor, then there's more oil in the system, therefore this level is lower? Correct, yes. Okay. You'll see, if you, when it's on the floor, you should barely, there's a plate. I don't know if you can see that plate. Yeah, I see a plate if with you bolts. Get, you'll just, nuts. the oil will just barely be enough to cover that plate uh, when it's on the top floor. And what kind of oil is this? Is uh, it's it? AW3600. They sell it at a... Uh, it, it's flammable though, isn't it? Uh, no, it's not it, Oh, it's not flammable. Okay. Now, the water should not get in there. It looks like water could get in right there. Uh, right. It's sealed. It has rubber seals that run around. I, would, but, I mean, water gets up that high. We got okay. bigger issues. Well, good. I was uh, wondering what was going on inside there. I usually ahead. put these inside of here. Would you rather leave them out on the exterior, or would you rather them on the computer? Uh, I tell you what. Let's do this. I don't. Just leave them here. Okay. I, just leave them here. Now, who makes this? Uh, people have asked me uh, who makes this elevator, like Otis. Uh, we've heard of that. Uh, so this brand is actually Custom Elevator out of Plumsteadville, Pennsylvania. Custom Elevator Correct. out of yes. Pennsylvania. But I know Wiltec is the company that installs Wiltec it. Wiltec is the company. So we actually, it's just the hydraulics. So the main heavy equipment on the inside. Yeah. And this is all custom. Our uh, electrical components, so this and most of the wiring on top and all the fixtures come from a company called EMI Porta. Okay. And they're out of, out of So way. the company out of Pennsylvania, you call them Custom Elevator? Correct, yes. They don't make every component. They, they do, but that's, that's what's weird. 
we're different from a lot of companies because uh -huh. we, we kind of shopped around and found different components that work together and put together our kind of our own package. But the hydraulics and the cab and the wiring and stuff is uh, custom for elevators out of Pennsylvania. Correct. Right. Now, what is this right here? Right. Electric to... Nice. That's just a tag they send. This is the ELTCC number. So that's like is, a model number. So if we had an uh, issue out of the tank, we could call the company and they yeah. can look up where that package is. Is that shipped. the model number for the entire tank or just for the model? Just motor? the entire package. So oh, the entire package. package. So this is known as Electra 2, 19184, number 6, 9.2 pump, 12 3. Is that the date, 12 3? I'm not sure what that one is. I know that's the so the 9.2 is gallons per minute. That's not okay. that so much the pump will put okay. the pump. And we should should we ever have to replace any of that oil? We should never have to unless replace. we have a leak. Unless you have a leak. Okay. I didn't know what that uh, evaporated or you know it's through not, not it's not leaks good. out through the system, you know. No, okay. we'll go good. We can go for a ride yeah. Should and thank you for the elevator keys. Absolutely. Now this thing is self-leveling too, because I know it is. So yeah, if you put weight in, depending on how far it drops, it won't do it every time. But how mm -hmm. much weight comes in, it'll double that. When this went bad, this flash, this light here. Correct. Right. That's that short. So that's what I was saying. That oh. capacity plate, if there's a short, that'll blink, and that also. Will blink so that's not there. an indication that we're violating the 950 pounds. No, okay. no, it's not right. Because I said, wow, we don't have 950 pounds. Yeah, no. Now. No, it's, it self levels then. Um, mm -hmm. So also, if you open this at any point, it stops. Yeah. So I don't mind by sticking your hands out, and then you can also stop it right here. Okay. Change direction, go back down to four to your number four. Okay. Sorry, they just changed it. They were oh, they were opposite. pulled it. They were pulled to stop and push it up. So I'm still adjusting to that. I saw them when they did that. I'm like, that's going to cause us a lot of issues because they've, they've been that they've, way for 12 years now. Where it's pulled to stop and pushed to run. Now they reversed it. Now they reversed it for some god awful reason. So say, you could accidentally push it. So right, push exactly. It. That's that was my whole argument there. Is like if it's pull, you can't really accidentally right. pull something. You can accidentally somebody push can it. lean against that wall and lean push it. that in, as opposed to the other way around. Right. We didn't get the phone, of course. We just yeah. use our cell phone. It's really your prerogative. We require one for inspection, but we have a little router we'll use. Okay. Um, so. Okay. Going up, going up is kind of easy to tell when you get to a floor. Now, right now, if we were to see the hydraulic level, it'd be at the lowest level. Correct. Because the hydraulic fluid is in the hydraulic Correct. lines. Mm -hmm. um, so we can go down. I'll show you one of our, one of our bigger problems okay. we have. Oh, like I said, I don't know if you can hear that motor running, so it's not really an issue. Uh, going down. Okay. Now, if we were to lose power now, we could still go down. And, yeah, it'll actually carry. You won't even oh, be able to tell. Yeah. So the light will turn out. Uh -huh. This light actually comes on. That's your emergency light. So okay. if it loses power, that pops on. Um, but if you watch, so I tell people just watch that light. Because when you get close to a floor, you feel like it's almost stopped. A lot of people open that up too soon. It's not quite level there. You freak out, reach out, pop the lock. All you got to do, if that were to happen, just close that gate back to press 3. It'll finish the rest of the room. So, okay. Do you want to make it, let it, give it a chance yeah, to stop? Yeah, I'd stop it. Just to watch, just watch the light. Like when you're in the room. Yeah, when it goes out. When that light good. times out, it means you're at the floor. And you'll hear a click. It's all right to open the accordion door. Right, yeah. So thank you for educating us. This Absolutely. really helps us. Absolutely. The more we know as consumers, the more we can be prepared. Right. That lock is working properly. Great. I will, uh, okay, now don't forget your... I'll give the builder, yeah, I'll grab those. I'll give the builder a call and see if yeah. we get over here for that ball catch. Now, would, not, is this something that you would do or is that it's, they would? That's on their side. Oh, we're, we're, we're out in the area, I can still go and build it. I would so. love that. Now, what is your phone number? Just say it. I'll read. 404-925-3201. 3201, and that's your cell? That is correct. Great. Okay. Yep. And you're Justin? Yep. 
Justin, I'm Matt. I served in the Navy. Awesome. You served as a bulldog, I see. <laughs> I went to law school there. So. How did you? Yeah. Awesome. Um, okay, guys. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. Justin, what's your last name? Norton, N-O-R-T-O-N. You don't mind if I put this on YouTube? I don't mind at all. Okay. Well, thank you.